Can you make a short little video of you designing a simple thing like one of those? I'm having trouble figuring out how to use Blender. All right, I'm going to make a super quick video showing you how to design a simple geometric planter pot in Blender. So we opened Blender in a brand new workspace. We're going to delete the camera and the light because we don't need those. We're going to tab into edit mode. We're going to hit M and we're going to do merge at center. Now we're going to click the X axis and we're going to hit the magnet right here to enable snapping. So from here, we're going to hit E to extrude and we'll move this over about 10 on the Y axis. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Going to E to extrude and we'll bring it up four and over one. E to extrude, we're gonna bring it up four and then in one. E to extrude, we'll go up four and over one. E to extrude, we'll go up four and in one. E to extrude, we'll do one more up four and over one. So here's where we're at now, it doesn't look like much, but from here we can go to modifiers and we're gonna add the screw modifier. That will make this more 3D. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna turn off smooth shading and flip the normals. And this is what it should look like. And then from here, we can adjust these steps and that will do that. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to 28. So if you're following along, this is what it should look like. Now we're done with the screw modifier. We're gonna go over here and add simple deform modifier. It's gonna look like this at first, don't worry. Hit the Z axis and that will fix it. And we can adjust the angle here, which will make it more or less twisty. You don't want to overdo it like that, so that looks good. We can do 100. Now we're good with these modifiers. We're going to go ahead and apply both of them. And here's where we're at. Now we're going to add one more modifier, and that is solidify. And we can go over here and adjust the thickness, and that will just make it more or less solid. I set mine at 0.8, and this is what it looks like. Go ahead and apply that modifier and we're done. Congratulations, you have designed your first geometric planter pot or pen holder, whatever you want to use this for. Go up here, export it as an STL file, load it up into Cura. It might be a little bit too small, so you can just scale it up and then you can go back into Blender, scale it larger, and it will be good for the next time. I might as well show you guys how to do that. Just go into Blender, click the shape, hit S, and there you go.